Well, hey everyone, John from Portable Church. Question for you, how often do you get asked where something is in the morning? Chances are it's more often than you care to admit, but here at Portable Church, we have a few options to help you actually help people navigate on a Sunday morning through your school, whether it be your own building, whether it be a school, a movie theater, wherever you're meeting on a Sunday morning, we can help you make it a little easier for your, uh, for your churchgoers. Let's talk about that. All right, so I picked a handful of different churches where I, I saw something that stuck out to me and with a really interesting engagement tool or thing they use to help a churchgoer navigate their church. So we're gonna pop over my computer real quick and look at these pictures from deliveries uh, and different church pictures that they've sent us over the years to see what they did and what we like about it. So let's jump into it. All right, so I chose this picture on purpose. This picture is got a couple interesting things going on. I don't know if you can see my mouse here, but if you notice right here is one, two, and obviously the third big sign. Let's start right at the beginning where someone might be driving by, like this truck. They need to see a few things to know that a church is meeting here. Right now, this is courtesy of Church of the Rock, and we see three things right here. We see the Windmaster signs, we call this one here. It has a couple arrows telling you auditorium, parking, and kids building down the road. It has another sandwich board right here that says senior parking and handicap parking. And then finally, this gigantic 15 foot flag. Okay now, so I wanted to start with these three things on purpose. Something to notice when you look at these signs right here and this flag is it's attention grabbing and it's simple. It's not over the top. There's not a lot going on with these signs. It's clear print. It's got the logo right up here at the top with the font that they use and their church color. All right, so let's break it down. We have the 15 foot flag first. We have majority of it's black on with white font, very legible, clean, easy to read. Their logo at the top, the COTR and their church color right here as well in this kind of offset. I'm gonna assume rect <laughs> rectangle. So I like what they've done here. Sometimes people like to overcomplicate graphics. And while I do wanna make a graphic for you, and I'll show you an example of a really fun graphic that has a lot going on, this graphic in particular does a really good job of communicating something. Church of the Rock. It tells you immediately what it is. And then we have two smaller signs for when people get close and they're ready to turn in, giving them directions. I love it. This is a great job, guys, with the signage. Simple, perfect. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so I'm gonna use different churches to kind of paint this picture of a Sunday morning experience for someone. All right, so let's say the person's parked and they've walked up. I love what they're doing right here. Let's jump right into it. So I have another 15 foot flag, real easy to indicate if you're in the back of the parking lot. And we have some other fun things that we don't always get to do, but I'm really happy we're getting to do it. So look at this, for example, this big arch. Now, that's a really fun way to let a kid know that they're, they're over there, right? I really enjoy that. They have a couple more, they have some more signage from us right here that I really enjoy. It's really clean, really easy to look at. It's like a small Windmaster sign. In fact, I even have a bigger one right here that says we're here to help with the 12 stone tent and the two feather flags that help indicate uh, first timer. And I believe it says first time here. All right, so signage does a lot. It gets you to where you need to go, but that's not all that you do with a church, right? There's more to it. And we have these volunteers here ready to help and engage with people that do come through their door. In fact, we can see in the background right here, some people walking into the building. That's exciting. So, and then in the back, in case the 12 stone kids were wondering where they need to go, this giant sign right here. And I love this, it looks great. Really easy to understand, a check-in sign, which you know what, we're gonna jump over to check-in, right? All right, awesome. So we're actually, now we're inside the building ready to drop the kids off for service and go in and enjoy it ourselves. So let's look at this right now. We have a great check-in kiosk that we actually make. This has that ATA, that more road case feel to it. Um, it has actual computer in it, some storage and the printer for a man station. Now I actually took this picture myself before kids showed up and they had a really cool setup in the back right here. And we'll actually, we'll go to another one. We have these self check-in printers and scanners. They are a standalone kiosk with iPads in them. They are fantastic. Again, also signage right here showing what we're doing. And this is in the form of a graphic sign. What I really like about the graphic signage is that you can use it for a dual purpose setup. Take for example, this picture. There's a lot of scuba wall, we call this. It's like that pipe and drape material, but a little newer, a little updated, really awesome. 
hit me up in the comments. I'll tell you all about it. We'll email about it. It'll be fun. So, what they've done is they've used these two pieces of the fabric to help create some barriers for the children, for the kids, to have a little more security and safety for their classroom. I think that's really smart to utilize the space because they have a really, they had a really cool space of a lunchroom that they turned into their kids ministry. What a creative way to do that, to use the, the signage as a wall. I gotta give credit where credit's due to my designers, the people who worked on this. Actually, I'm gonna shout out Kurt, my man. Uh, thanks for helping out with this one. It looks great, love how it looks. And it was really fun to get to meet that team and help them set up their kids' experience. We created actually one, two, three classrooms in here. I know it might not look like it, but there are three classrooms in this area. If you wanna know more about it, check out PCI's Instagram because we've posted about the ridge before. All right, so we have two more that we're gonna look at right now. I love this church setup. It was so much fun to set up and see kids just lose their mind over the, the bounce house, right? All right, so a lot is going on in this picture, so stick with me while we break it all down. This was before everything was set up. This is kind of a progress picture of the actual setup, but there's enough going on here to where you can get the whole scope of it. So you walk in the doors right here, and the first thing you see is the connect table. So right behind, right in front of this fabric with a little table, bistro table, like this one right here, actually and it sat there, it lived there. Great connection point for your volunteers to meet new people. This coffee cart is great. Um, co our coffee carts, we've done videos, actually here's a link to one in, here's a link to one that we've talked about before with Barrett. So you can learn about those more there. We had the coffee station right here. Then we had this awesome overflow in kids area for the service, for between services and during service. So let's say you were late, auditorium was full or auditorium was full and you had your kids and it was whatever a whole thing area for them to play on bounce house everyone loves those come on who doesn't love a bounce house we're adults we still like bounce houses <laughs> giant connect for giant jenga rugs to sit on for the kids so it wasn't on the floor like just the hard tile floor and cornhole who doesn't love cornhole cornhole's a blast i'm from the midwest we actually we're based out of detroit so midwest michigan people we love yard games here it's a whole thing i know but a lot went on here, and then even down the road, even down the way, there was a map. There was a map behind everyone, and then another map at the third entrance to let you know what was going on. Those were all specialty expand signs. Here's another card to know about what the expand signs, how to put them up and take them down, and you can see a great example of one with Debbie and Barrett. All right, and just like that, they're the handful of pictures with signage and lobby experiences that really help create that engaging and welcoming, easy to navigate. Uh, Sunday morning experience for your newcomers at church. I hope that this video was able to shed some light about maybe some things that your church could use to help create that new environment for the new next person. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Jesse here. Looks like you finished another video. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification for us and then check out this next video.